There we go, perfect. Look at that. Poland is basically gone. Pol Poland is just this small strip of land, which is great. Kind of separates me from Bohemia, Hungary. Um, but we'll see. Maybe I'll finish that off. Maybe I'll finish that off at some point. Uh, Galicia has now been released again. And they've got a lot of land now this time. So hopefully we can make them our ally. There we go. We're going to make them our new ally. Perfect. That's all our allies done. Um, yeah, hopefully it won't increase separatists too much as well. That was always the big problem. Let's go to uh, this one. Ooh, the name has changed. Wars Cha. Wars Cha? I guess. I'm not sure. Perfect. So there we go. Things went well, I think. We have five more years. We can declare war on Lithuania again. That's good. That's good. Poland, 1555. Okay, a long time. Now, we have a lot of things to deal with right now. Additional merchants. So we could increase our diplomacy. We're behind on diplomacy text. Let's not do that. National decisions. We don't need those. I've had a look at those already. And we need a new diplomacy guy. How much money are we making? 69. I guess we just got 69 gold, didn't we? Morale of armies, diplomatic reputation. Let's go for reputation. I always like that. Yeah, so let's go for that. I always like to have that. Perfect. We've got a nice big Teutonic Order now. Let's look at the trade as well, because obviously Muscovy is trying to hurt my trade. We're getting more than we were before. We have even more control and crack ore now. Perfect. Okay, that's, that's fine. That's going well. I'm liking this. Now we should decrease our costs. There we go. Um, let's stop this as well. Mothball the forts. Uh, you guys should go protect the trade. So we definitely need to build some new ships. That is definitely what we're going to have to look at next. But yeah, no, I'm pretty happy with how that war went. We maybe didn't get lots from it, but we kind of hurt them. Poland has lost, you know, their ally. Oh, the allied with... God damn you. Well, that's okay, actually. If they're allied with Lithuania, when we attack Lithuania again, we can finally... We can just destroy them. I wonder if I could just make them my vassal. <laughs> we could give their land to uh, Galicia. We could give Lithuania land to Polotsk. Yeah, this would be perfect. I'm looking forward to this. A new pope. He is loyal to Castile. So the pope finally died. And we are no longer the papal controller. So maybe we could look into converting. Protestant. Um, so if we go for reformed, we can have a center of reformation will appear. Possible advisors plus one, tolerance of heretics plus two. Tolerance of heretics is quite nice. Tolerance of the true faith, national tax modifier. National tax modifier is quite nice, but I might go for reformed actually. Tolerance of heretics would be quite nice now. Um, let's look at the religious map. Now Bohemia and most of the Holy Roman Empire is uh, Protestant. So that could be quite nice for us. But Hungary and Sweden both are Catholic. Do I really want to lose those allies? But then I can form Prussia. It's a, dif it's a difficult thing to think about, isn't it? It's really a difficult choice here. But Hungary really like me. I don't think it will affect our friendship too much. So I think we'll be fine. And yeah, I think Bohemia has been a really good ally for us. If we could get them to be the Holy Roman Empire, that would be really helpful for us. I think, yeah. I'm going to convert. Let's do it. Let's try it. Let's spend our papacy points. We have 64. What can we get then? Gain manpower at war. Okay. No, can't do that. Um, gain a different type of person. We could get interest per annum. Um, 40. 10 percent. We could do blessed ruler and forgive. So, what is our interest? Yeah, we could use that. We might as well just use it all. There we go. And we'll... We'll just... Okay, just one more month. Okay, just a little bit more. Once we get to 40. 
Okay, Polish Shepherds are going to be a problem now, definitely. Make that into a core. Okay, fine. And harsh treatment. We're ahead on technologies for most of those things, so we're okay for now. I probably should uh, build some more ships. Caraval, 20 gold. We'll build three. There we go, 100 gold. That's fine. But so far, I've been pretty happy with how this has gone. There we go, 40. Bless our ruler. Prestige for all. I, I can't remember. Did we actually have... Maybe we had 100 prestige already, but still, we just needed to use it. Okay, and let's let's change. Now, this could cause some problems. We could face some rebellions and stuff. Um, but, yeah. Convert. Lose 100 prestige. That's fine. We have 100 prestige anyway, so that's quite nice. We'll move from Teutonic Order. Gain 300 ducats. Uh, ducats. To reform Danzig will become a center of the faith. Religious zeal. Missionary strength versus heretics. There we go. And this is done. We have changed to reformed. <laughs> yes. And now we're going to have a lot of people. Uh, Sandomir. Yeah, we'll keep them in Warsaw because uh, they don't like it either. And we're still gaining back our soldiers again like last time. Rebel factions. We're going to have a few rebel factions, I think. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we still can do that up, but we're not going to. We can convert places, which is probably a good, good idea. We have one missionary. Send him. Okay, perfect. So we're going to send him to do that. Um, stability, water. Ooh, fervent focus. This is a new stuff involving like uh, Protestant and Reformed faith. Focus on trade. Five points of fervor, and we'll then withdraw for the same amount of points each month. Cool. Okay. Morale can go up. Whoa, that's really good. Change plus four. A month. So each month we get four. So I can... Okay. Okay, interesting. That is kind of cool. I did not know that. That's kind of nice to see. We have a lot of things to do. We can now form Prussia. Uh, again, 25 prestige. Feudal monarchy. That's quite nice to see. Opinion of, from Denmark, Lithuania, Poland, Pomerania, all goes up. Gain new traditions, ambitions. National unrest goes up, which is kind of bad. Stability cost modify goes up. Tons of heretics. We'll do that for now. Missionary strength, tons of heretics. Uh, we won't do that for now. National tux modifier goes up. Stability cost. We've already got one up. Let's form Prussia. And there we go. We are Prussia. That is nice. I, I don't know why I like the name Prussia. It just sounds much better than a Teutonic Order. And we've done it. We are Prussia. We are a duchy, actually, at the moment. Feudal monarchy. Duke Karl Alexander von Walbach. Okay, cool. So do we still have our same relations? No, we do not. No, that's... that's Jesus, that was close. Phew. Okay, I was a bit worried there. That's good. Diplomatic relations are still the same. Okay, perfect. Here we're duchy, government rank. Okay. Interesting. To upgrade government rank, uh, you need at least 300 total development. You only have 275. Okay, so we're almost at 300 development and 50 prestige. Okay, that could be quite easy to sort. Our legitimacy is zero. Jesus. Prestige has gone down, obviously. Huh. Interesting. Economy is the same. Technology is the same. Our ideas are different. National tax modifier, stability cost, morale of armies, elite army tradition. Next we get infantry combat ability. That would be really good. Recruitment time would be great. Tolerance of heretics. Discipline and discipline. That's discipline is if... Uh, we get all of them. Yearly army tradition and aggressive expansion impact. Oh, that's awesome. Aggressive expansion impact, that would be perfect. Okay. Next is the form Germany, which is probably going to be impossible for us because we're really not going in that direction, to be honest. 35, 23. Yep, yeah, perfect. Okay, very good. Accumulate money. We gain prestige. We achieve religious unity. That would be quite nice. Incorporate Livonia order into our country. I want to keep them separate as a border between like Muscovy and us. 
Our manpower is just need to recover. Let's let's go for that. Yeah, that's probably the most important thing for us now. But yeah, we have loads of money. That's one thing we definitely have. Uh, we can now have some marriages as well. Plots. Maybe we could just uh, of a vassalization. And we can't at the moment, sadly. Grand Principality. We can marry them. They've got economic base tax, apparently. Uh, Lumen Disaster. Religious Turmoil. Currently, has religious unity really 75% for just completed humanist ideas? Okay, that could be a problem. Um, religious Turmoil, 75%. Religious unity, 12%. That's going to take too long. Um, <laughs> okay. Missionary strength. Yeah, we need to increase missionary strength. Okay, that's bad. Lithuania is maybe the new rival. Okay, makes sense. Does this mean we lose our... Uh, ooh, ooh, lots of things. Royal marriage of pr uh, Hungary. Yeah, let's go for that. Um, these guys, yeah, we'll do that. They're our allies, after all. That disaster, though, is going to be a problem. I feel like that's going to hurt us. Galicia has a, a problem with their dispute of succession. Okay. We still have a, uh, a peace treaty, if that's okay. That's nice. It's nice to see we've finally made pressure. Okay, marriages from everyone, apparently. Bohemia. Okay. When will this uh, finish? Progress is plus one each month. Coming at two percent each month. So that's a uh, hundred months. That's ninety-eight months. Okay, we we might be able to save this. We're second at the moment on score, which is quite nice. Let's have a quick look around. What's going on? What's going on in the world? Of EU, whoa, hung, uh, England looks the same actually. Foresaw something different, but nope, apparently not. Okay, everything looks the same as before. Forgot to give that stuff back to Golden Horde, but that's fine. Maybe we can kick Poland out into the east. That'd be kind of funny. But Lithuania will be next. Okay, we managed to convert some, that's good. Okay, <laughs> look at all these rebel factions. Okay, I may have made a bad choice there. Um, stability. National unrest. That looks like probably the best idea. Let's go for stability. Um, okay, we can't... Okay, it's because of the uh, center. Yeah, so because there was a center of re uh, reforming. Okay, those two have changed. That's good. Okay, hopefully that can go... That can help with our conversion. Because right now we're only at 12%. So many, so many rebel factions. Everyone hates me. How are we going to get people to like me? Overextension, make a call. Yeah, go on. But yeah, this is definitely not the best position we're in. Uh, we need to be as quick as possible. Okay. Uh... Why don't we just convert? I, I want to make sure like it's kind of like all next to each other. Let's go for Wisner because it's next to the one we just did. Maybe we can do it. If it keeps going as slow as it was, we might be fine. Maybe. One each month. We might be able to do it. Um, 22%. We're getting there. We might actually be able to do this somehow. We'll have to wait and see. Now, 60%, Lithuania, and these ones. We'll see which one goes up quickest. When it gets to 80%, then we'll do it. We have a lot of military manpower. We're ahead on military and stuff. So it's not too bad. Okay. Conversion successful. Excellent. Excellent. Yep. So it's growing quickly. That's good. So it's a good job we have that center of reformation. Without that, we would probably be screwed. So it's a good job I chose reformed. I like that we can do this actually, that's kind of cool. Kind of just makes it a bit easier. 22%, so hopefully that will 
Do it. Come on, come on. Keep getting it up. 33%. We actually might be able to do this. I think we may. Yeah, we... I, I, I'm really not sure, actually. Um, Osterberg. Well, Otzelberg is already being done. Um, Ermland. No, I don't want to do there. Because it seems to be moving around, so I don't want to go around there. Let's go for something different. Let's go for something like Plock. We've got seven. Uh, Riga. Let's go for, like, Riga, yeah. Can I ask my vassal to convert as well? Enforce religion, change in limited desire by plus 50. So we could convert him. H how can, could I help him? Enable scrutage. Conditional plus 50. Uh, place relative on the thing. Placate ruler. Cost of 20 prestige. Yeah, we could do that. Okay, we could enforce religion. And then we can placate ruler. There we go. Perfect. There we go. Fine. So that keeps uh, Livonia order happy. So that's good. I'm happy with that. Protestant is kind of moving around a lot. Um, heretic religion. Yeah. Even though he's a Protestant, we are, you know, whatever we are. It's a bit different. Reformed. Rebels have crossed the borders. God damn it. Um... Pretender rebels. We have a lot of men and they've crossed the river, but we had really low morale at the time. I can become defender of the faith. <laughs> um, that costs a lot of money. It's probably not worth it, to be honest. Okay, it's a good religious stability. 33% still. Uh, hopefully we just destroyed them then. I think we just won that. There we go. Perfect. We won. Still kind of dumb. Okay, Austria has declared war upon the new enemy, Wattenberg. Good for them. There's a few big people actually growing in a, the Holy Roman Empire. Austria could face competition. 